what's going on YouTube back here for another Thursday update this awesome uh, aquaponic garden which is the lava rock aquaponic garden this every Thursday check this thing out just all kind of green growth see this cabbage over there looking awesome everything's just looking great um, Fish are looking gigantic. Actually, let's see if we can get a couple of these guys on film this week. I forgot I was going to do a separate video, but heck with it. We'll throw some food in, look at some plants, and see if we can come back and look at these fish. There we go. Throw it everywhere. All right. Anyway, deep water culture bed over here, as you can see, just going nuts. The mint is everywhere. I have not hacked this mint back yet. <laughs> keep saying I will but I haven't um, my little Brussels sprout not looking so good uh, my other Brussels sprout Oop, dropped a clip in the water my other Brussels sprout right over there not looking so bad not looking so good it's hidden back there <laughs> within the mint uh, um, there's some new additions they do not look good but uh, yeah I pulled these guys I forget who are all of you guys Uh, cow horn, cow horn, uh, Cajun bell. I just pulled them out, put them right into the deep water culture bed, see if they can actually come back to life a little bit before it's, uh, you know, winter time and uh, they pretty much go out permanently and kind of starting to take apart the back wall here a little bit. Uh, still have some tomatoes that are growing and like way over there. Not really going to do an update on them, so I'll show them off right now. But somewhere in there, there we go. A couple of those tomatoes over in there. And uh, I plan on getting them, but uh, yeah, I don't know. Hydro tubes pretty much shut down. That's why I haven't done a video about it for the last couple weeks. Um, just trying to buy some time here because I know these freaking giant catfish are hungry. They're just not coming to the surface yet. But uh, yeah, everything else has been growing great. Some of these tomatoes are growing right here into, you can see the tips popping up right there, over there. They're growing right onto uh, the deep water culture bed here. But uh, yeah, all right, well, that went over great. No catfish. All right, we're just gonna move on. Um, got some of my little tiny volunteer lettuce. I don't know what's going on with this guy. All kind of uh, damage. Most of them look like this. Uh, some of them will look even bigger and starting to branch out and everything. My uh, Brussels, they look like they're dead. So actually, hey, look at that. They're done. All right. So they're out of here. Quick look back at the fishes. I saw a fish. I fed them yesterday or the day before, and I threw the food in and immediately they were right there at the service eating it. Right over here is a model looking uh, strawberry. Look at this thing. It's got a little tiny extra strawberry plant right here, which would be this guy right there. And then the giant one in the background. And look at that new growth popping right out of it. So that thing is looking absolutely beautiful. Like I said, the lettuce, there's some debris in here. Uh, more lettuce over here, more volunteer lettuce. This, uh, if you missed it earlier in the year, I had a giant lettuce plant that I let flower uh, go to seed and like let it drop the seed. So that's why they're everywhere in here at random points. Uh, more all over in here, some back there. Um, more over here. So like I said, they're everywhere. Oh look, duct tape's everywhere too. That's weird. Um, Let's see, what else do we have? Oh, back to the onion. It's still doing okay. Um, it's gigantic. The roof is becoming a giant sail in this wind, but let's see if it rips off. That'll be funny. Um, oh, look at that. I didn't even notice. There's some uh, lettuce right there at the base of the onion, which I don't think lettuce and onion get along. I don't think they're good companion plants. A uh, little tiny broccoli looks dead. Um, I think all the other old broccoli looks dead. I think all the broccoli, period, looks dead. That's the uh, mother plant right there. It looks pretty freaking dead. But uh, outside of that, we've got my suckers. Uh, I believe they're all indigo rose. Actually, I don't think this one is. Maybe it is. Oh, no, it is. <laughs> but it's got all kind of tomatoes all over it. Look at that. 
And it's got, uh, look at that, man, everywhere. I didn't notice how many tomatoes there really were. There's another one right there. But a lot of tomatoes all over there. Here's a couple more right here. Oh, look at that. There's some right down here. But they all look beautiful. I didn't even see this one hanging right in front of my face. But uh, they're looking beautiful. They're going up and around and intermingling with all of the Malabar spinach, which is growing from right over there. That giant freaking uh, plant. Um, let's see, yeah, the Malabar, um, uh, Indigo, some of these leaves are not looking so good, lower leaves, of course, but look, here's a whole branch over here with some more Malabar, or, um, uh, Indigo on there, look at that, that's not a hummingbird, what the heck is that thing? It looks like a hummingbird, but it's, uh, what the heck? I don't... Alright, well, it just went out. Okay, it looked like a moth, but it also kind of looked like a hummingbird. Very weird. Um, oh. Oh, shoot. Um, yeah. Here's my dinosaur kale. I guess it's dead. Um, here's another one. I'm guessing that one's dead, too. So, alright. Well, hey, we're all getting updated at the same time. My little jalapeno over there looking half-decent got white flies everywhere just like most of the plants in here um, lower uh, plant looks pretty decent there or uh, pod looks pretty decent and it's growing way over there and over in there so I don't know nothing more to report about that it's doing half decent um, all right now let's get into these guys my cauliflower or um, cauliflower <laughs> my cabbage look at these guys I never been successful with cabbage and this looks like I'm uh, the closest I've ever been but all of this cabbage is looking amazing I mean look at this thing I actually look like I have a head of cabbage oh. Wow that sucker's firm too that's pretty cool um, but look at that thing it's taken me quite some time to get uh, these guys to grow there's another one right over there being covered up by the basil and uh, like dead uh, tomatoes and stuff like that. Look at that. I really need to clean that out. Um, and then there's a couple more plants over here I'm going to rescue and throw them right here in the deep water culture in this garden. But man, look at this. I can't believe this cabbage. That is just amazing. And these guys right over here look even better. So... All right, well, stay tuned. We'll see how that uh, that all turns out. And like I said, that's all deep water culture style. Um, oh, that guy's going way over there. I wonder how big its roots are. I bet it's gigantic. Oh, man, I can't even get the cup any more anymore out of that. <laughs> I can't get the cup out any more than that. But, uh, yeah, look at that. Ugh. Massive root growth. So, looking nice. Anyway, that's my crowning achievement this year, I think, uh, out of this garden so far. Uh, the giant Malabar is really cool, too, and the catfish getting giant is pretty cool. But, hey, I'll throw a video up of those catfish at some point because I always fail whenever I try to do it in the moment. So, all right. But anyway, um, I don't know why I said all right. But anyway, that was my look around here, my giant wall of green here, looking awesome. Um... Yeah, if you're new, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Um, don't forget to throw me a thumbs up if you thought this was kind of fun, educational in any kind of sense, or at least amusing. Um, don't forget to, uh, yeah, hit that subscribe button. You come back. Uh, don't look at those uh, super hot peppers over there. We got super hot peppers over there. Look at that. Three foot tall suckers. Um, I always do the super hots on Monday. The hot tub aquaponic garden, because it's a hot tub. Uh, aquaponic Garden is always on Tuesday and right back here to the Lava Rock Aquaponic Garden on Thursday. Why Lava Rock? Because there's Lava Rock as a base layer in the bottom there to attract bacteria and everything and uh, pretty much to allow the beds be the filters, which was the whole design of uh, this one. So, if you missed that, check out past videos. I have got a ton of them. I believe this, pretty sure this is my 600th video. So, uh, if you've been watching my videos, thank you so much for watching. I uh, hope I don't disappoint, and when I do, I hope you learn from it. 
And, uh, yeah, so uh, thank you all for uh, getting me this far and uh, watching all my stuff. And check out all my past videos, because like I said, there's a ton of videos there. All kind of stuff, because I've changed formats many times. So, check it out! Uh, if you want to catch me out on Twitter, I'm A with a circle, R-E-V-T-O. Uh, don't forget to do all that fun, happy social media stuff down below. There's that goofy flying thing again. Right there. It's not a hummingbird. Hey, where'd you go? Ah, can't get it on film. But, uh... It's not a hummingbird, but it looks like a moth doesn't look like what well, has a bunch of legs but they're all the way up front weird anyway uh yeah thanks for watching all that fun happy stuff i will catch y'all in the next video number 601 crazy all right later